guys, Mel here, and I got my 2023 Art Snacks Inktober box, and so we are going to open it up and see what's inside. This is the first Inktober box that I have bought. I have never tried the Inktober challenge before, so this will be interesting. And I did get an email that the original notebook that was supposed to be, or the original sketchbook that was supposed to be in this um, set, unfortunately, uh, was, they were not able to use it. Um, there was like unforeseen circumstances that meant that they were not able to use it, but you know, um, they did offer an alternative. I would have liked the original one um, a bit more, but that's okay. Um, so here is our box and what we get in it. So we have lots of fun things. We have this adorable Arnhem 1618 sketch pad. Um, originally it was going to be a Plumchester uh, square notebook, but they had to change it to this art pad. But that is okay because look at this cover. It is freaking adorable. And they were um, partnering with the artist, I think Moxie Toxie, or Toxie Moxie, I should say, um, who does why cute little themed items. So this is the notebook, the paper pad, I should say. And it actually kind of works out because this part can come off. And so if you really want to, you can actually save this and it would make cute like, you know, wall decor, like a little pinup. Um, so that is great. And so it was also, I should say, the Arnhem 100% Ragfine art paper that is excellent for a variety of techniques like printmaking, drawing, lettering, and painting. Acid-free and archival, accepts multiple later layers of media, internally plus externally sized, and it is put out by Speedball. Hearing the thickness of it. Then we have King Art Inkline Fine Line Ink Set. It is a set of six pens in different sizes with black ink, where you get crisp, clear lines, archival ink, permanent, won't smear, won't smudge. It says that inkline pens are perfect for precision drawing. This wide assortment puts everything you need right at your fingertips. Great for writing, drawing, technical drawings, notebooks, Bible study, and more. No skip, no smear, no smudge ink. Lends professional quality to all your work. And I do have some other King Art supplies, so that is very nice. Then we get some abstract acrylic ink from Sennelier. And this one is carbon black. And we also get some we also get some Bombay Aqua India ink. So a very beautiful blue color. And this is Dr. P. H. Martin's Bombay. <laughs> Then, in our little zippered pouch, we open it up, we get our menu, which again does have to, is accidentally wrong because it does mention the um, Plumchester Squared notebook, sketchbook, but 
um, had to be replaced with the Arnheim uh, paper pad, but that's okay. And you get 31 days, 31 drawings. Your challenge is to create a drawing every day for 31 days using only the supplies in your Art Snacks ink collection. Use the daily prompts on the calendar for inspiration. And so these are the prompts. You get cozy coffee, books, sweater, jars and vials, animal familiar, dust bunnies, garden gate, pumpkin patch, sprout, bumblebee, greenhouse, stargazing, frog friend, midnight snack, under the stars, record player, rainy day, plant shelf, knit scarf, blanket fort, forest, lily pad, cemetery picnic, fairy door, toadstool, fireflies, tree house, Halloween decorations, trick or treat, and haunted home. Some of them sound fairly easy, other ones definitely trickier. And then we get our snack. I got an Airheads White Mystery. Yay, I like Airheads. I'm so glad I got our Airheads. I'm so glad it wasn't a Jolly Rancher because I'm not a Jolly Rancher fan, so this one's good. Then we also get Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, Big Brush. This is Light Colbo Cobalt Turquoise. So there's this nice, like, brush type pen. And we also get Pentel Arts pocket brush pen. So it has for painting, drawing, black pigment ink. So we get this. Permanent ink is both water and fade resistant, leak proof fittings and measured ink flow guard. Portable, neat and easy to use versus traditional paint and brushes. Ideal for painting on location. We also get a Uniball Signo white gel pen, which is a good brand for your white gel pens for highlights. We get a zebra pen, whatever the zebra one is called, Sen Zensations brush pen. So. We also get a Velvet Touch Premium Brush in Long Round 6 from Princeton Art. And it is for acrylic, watercolor, and oil. And then we get cute little Kwai stickers. They're so adorable. I mean, look, the cat. The cat is just adorable. And the ghosts. Gotta love the ghosts. So this will be good to decorate. Some of these will definitely go in my little sticker book that I have. Um, because, again, just so adorable. Like, some of them I can use for my art, for my Inktober box, or for when I send letters to a friend or something and others definitely like I will have to keep. So that is everything you get in the box. And so it is just so nice. And I can't wait to draw with everything. Um, today I while I won't do any of the prompts on here, I can still swatch everything and try the items out. So let's do that. All right, it is time to try out and swatch these items. So we'll start with the Faber-Castell, which has India ink. And a very pretty color. And it looks good so far, nothing on the back. Um, 
now we've got it coming out. We are wondering why with the King Art pens that I did a couple of these as dollar signs instead of just little S's. That's because my day job, I am a bookkeeper, so I have to write money signs all the time. Force of habit, I guess. I'll try the Zebra Sensations pen. Ooh, this one's very nice and dark. And get some thin lines in here, some thick lines. Now we can try out the paintbrush and inks. Get that nice round pen. So we will try this pretty aqua ink. color. And this one, I think it says you can mix it with water to do like watercolor effects. That's very nice. Acrylic ink. And you can also kind of do watercolor effects with this by watering it down. So if you don't want it all to be that black, you can make it lighter as well so that's good and then we will see these are supposed to be smear proof so far so good this one smudges a little This one, the Pentella has smudging. And once dry, it looks like the Faber Castell pen is pretty good. Like ever so white, but everything looks so nice. So there's all my swatches, so there we go. And if we look at the back of the page, it's all nice, there's no like bleed through, no ghosting, so that is great. And I think there are pros and cons to whether we would have gotten the Plum Chester sketchbook or got this. And because with a sketchbook, it all would be nice and contained in the book. So that you could like flip through it all the things that you did however with the paper pad you can take the pages off you could either if you want to keep them together you can try to keep them together but otherwise you can take them off and therefore you can frame them if you like say you did you really loved like some of your pieces you could frame them you could give them as gifts or, you know, maybe sell something. So there's definitely pros and cons to both. And again, I did take the, the little cute cover off because this I think would be so cute hanging up. Um, maybe I'll even find like a frame for it, but I think it would be so cute. It's like a little art print 
and I have other art prints hanging up so there we go all right so that is what you get in the 2023 art snacks inktober box and so I will definitely try to do at least one of the prompts in a video not this video it is not October yet or sorry inktober yet um <laughs> So you will have to wait till Inktober to, for me to do one of the prompts here. This is just swatching out everything right now. Um, I'm also not the best at like doing sketches, like ink sketches or anything. So I will probably want to practice a little bit on my own first before I actually share something. Um, Cause even though I am an art YouTuber, I am not like the best artist out there. There are totally other people like way better than I am. So, you know, <laughs> I'm just more of a beginner hobby artist, I guess. But yeah, so that is this year's Inktober box from Art Snacks. The only thing that we are really missing is the little actual Art Snacks sticker. You know, the Art Snacks pretzel, pencil symbol. I would have loved to see that. I would have loved one of those. But it's okay. It's okay because we get the Toxic Moxie stickers. And if you're wondering, Toxic Moxie's real name is Meg Lees. And she is a New England-based artist and illustrator and that is awesome because guess who else is New England based? This girl right here. Born and raised in New England. Yes, so go us New Englanders. We get all the classic seasons. We get the nice the hot summer. We get a beautiful fall with all the colorful leaves that are actually starting to turn right now because of all the rain and stuff that we've had. We get a classic winter with the snow on the ground. We get a pretty nice spring. Oh, before we get to spring, we also have mud season. Mud season and then we get spring. So anyway, shout out to anyone else who is a New Englander. Who is watching this video and I also forgot to uh, test out the uniball pen I realized so let's just uh, test this out by making a heart right here oh yeah yeah there's there's our little heart with our gel pen so <laughs> um, so anyway I hope you liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and also be sure to give me a nice comment and I will see you in the next video. Bye!